So I'm kind of wondering what this guy's deal is. Like, is he a secret agent of some kind? Is he like a hidden blade? Or ooh, a member of like the Thieves Guild or the Dark Brotherhood? Like, he's being all secretive and I assume like he wants my specific talents for something. Um, why are you walking away? Ah, you came! Yeah. You're sure you weren't followed? No. Good. I thought I could trust you. Nobody else in town. They're all in on it. All watching me. Oh. Well, yes. I need you to do something for me. I'll pay you gold. You like gold, don't you? Yeah. Lots of gold. Ooh. Here's my problem. I'm being followed. <gasps> Watched. No. Marukati selectives, maybe. Oh, maybe. Not sure. I'm a threat, you see. To their plans. I know too much. Oh, wow. I need you to check out some people for me. The ones who are following me. Watch them. See where they go. Who they report to. Will you help me? Oh, I mean, this sounds dangerous, you know? The whole, like, conspiracy plot against one person involving the entire town? That sounds pretty sketchy. But, uh, you know, if anybody can handle it, it'll be me. Very good. You won't be sorry. I'll pay you well. Did I say that already? Yeah, yeah, dude, I got you. Let's start with Bernadette Penniless. Be outside my house at 6 a.m. You'll see her watching me. See where she goes and who she reports to. Gotcha, gotcha. We'll meet here again tomorrow night. Oh, and never contact me in public. They're watching. They can't know you're helping me. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'll be, I'll be 100% discreet. Remember, Bernadette Penalist, 6 a.m. Don't let her see you watching. Gotcha, gotcha. Soul of caution, soul of sneak, soul of... It's secret agenting. I can do it. Yeah. Um. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hmm. Oh, I shouldn't talk to anyone. They're all in on it. Hmm. Right. Let's go see. Let's let's go watch her. Let's, let's, okay. Six a.m. Uh. Yeah. Six a.m. Yeah. Oh man, oh man, my heart is racing. I can't believe I'm getting caught up in this huge conspiracy. Oh man. Oh, she hasn't come out yet. That's concerning. Uh, don't mind me, officer. Oh, she's come out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh. She saw me. Oh, oh, it's dangerous. She probably knows I'm up to something. I wonder where she's going. I wonder what the fiendish things she's doing. <clears throat> yes, hello, <clears throat> sir. <laughs> Stranger. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. She's going to church or chapel or whatever you want to call it. Praying, presumably. Or so she would have us believe. Really? Over that soon? Hmm. Clearly her stop to the chapel was a front. Uh, oh, she's stopping. Why is she stopping? Is she going to talk to that person? Oh. I've heard that someone has it out for Tutius Sextius. Who'd want to hurt him? Who indeed? I can't imagine who'd want to hurt Tutius. I've heard others say the same. What's the news from the other parts of Tamriel? Nothing I'd like to talk about. Oh, oh, because it's a secret. Why? She doesn't want to talk about it because it's a secret. I'm on to her. Hello. Fine greetings to you. Stranger. <laughs> oh, 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 so close. I wonder where she's going now. Oh my god, Glarthir. What the hell is he doing? You're just going right up to her and talking to her? What are you doing, you dumbass? You too. Oh, God. He's clearly not a professional at being sneaky. Unlike me. Hmm. No wonder he hired me to help. Are you... Are you following her? Dude, that's my job. You hired me to do it. Who will 
help an old beggar. Not me, I'm busy. He, you're probably an undercover spy too. Hmm. I mean, you'd think if she was specifically going after Glarthir, she would be staring at him a lot more, but uh, you know, maybe maybe that's just a part of what she's doing. Like maybe she's going around doing all sorts of other nefarious activities. And Glarthir is just, you know, a small part of it. Oh, oh, she's taking a left. Oh, she might be heading out of the city. I wonder where she's going. Probably like to pick up something at a at dead drop or something. I'm onto her. I'm onto her shenanigans. How are you? How are mm. you? Wonder where she's going. Greetings to you. I bet these folks are all in it. They're all watching me. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Don't look at me. Are you an escaped prisoner? Because you're dressed like an escaped prisoner. Which is probably just another front. You know, since they're in all in on it, they're all spies and they all have secret identities. They're all plotting. Oh, she's going in here. To the vineyard. And he's going there too. Wonder what they're up to. Oh. Hmm. Well, she's hoeing the ground for some reason. Uh, hmm. They could be at this for a while. I'm gonna check every two hours, I think. She's still at it? She is still at it. <gasps> oh! Oh! She vanished! Oh! Oh, she's over there now. Is she doing something else? Something nefarious over here? I bet she is. Where is she? She's eating lunch. Hmm. Very suspicious. She's pretending to be stuck behind a chair. That's a very advanced spy maneuver. I don't know how long she's gonna pretend to be stuck behind that chair. It could be a while. I'm gonna continue waiting. Did she escape? Oh, uh, she did. Oh, and she's back in town. Oh man, I missed it. Okay. Gotta get back, gotta go back. Yeah, I see you fake working at a fake vineyard. This is all probably just a front for, you know, that uh, Machiavellian services or whatever the heck it was that you described. Okay, so she's still out and about. She hasn't gone back home. My pleasure, really. Is she over here? Ooh, Vig the cautious. Is he also a spy? What are you what are you doing? Get out get get through there. You're you're impeding my espionage. Where the hell is she? Oh, she's over there! What's she up to? And now she's talking, what's she talking about? Glathir is acting even stranger than usual, don't you think? Now that you mention it, yes. You look up and find him across the street, staring at you. Creepy. I knew it! Exactly. They are Sometimes all plotting against Glathir. I've tried to talk to him, but he always hurries off when he sees me coming. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Oof. That was some valuable insight just then. They are all kind of watching Glarthir's movements. They all they're all keeping an eye on him. I knew it. Let's wait another two hours. She's eating dinner. Okay. She's 
still working or is she going back home? I think she might be going back home. You know what? We're gonna take a chance. We're gonna ask her some questions. I'm Bernadette Pinellis. I work for Tamika. I grow grapes for her wines. Of course you do. <clears throat> what do you think about uh, the city of Skingrad? I've lived here all my life. Sure you Grown have. Grapes. Sure you it's have. It's all I know. Really? Fresh air, mountains, the grapes on the vine. It's just beautiful. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> what do you think of that Glorthier figure? Eh? Well, I know he's a bit odd, but I've always thought he was kind of sweet. Really? Lately, though, he has been stranger than usual. Has he? I think maybe he's been following me. I see him every morning on my way to chapel. I've tried to say hello, but he always pretends not to hear me. Hmm. Hmm. Be seen. Hmm. Well, I think we've gained some valuable insight. I wonder where she's going now. She's probably going home. I think it's time to go meet up with Glarthir and tell him what we found. It is all very criminalizing. I mean, incriminating. Eh. Very good at English today. Hey! So, you saw Bernadette Penelis, did you? She was watching me and following me, wasn't she? You were right. She is following you. Just as I thought. Just as I thought. Excellent work. Thank you. There will be a bonus in this for you. Don't worry. Ooh, a bonus. Um, uh, what about the reward you promised? Ah, of course. The gold. Here. Thank. But there is someone else I need you to investigate. Oh, another person. I mean, this has already been so dangerous and so shady, but, uh, what else do you want me to do? Tutius Sextius. Do you know him? A quiet fellow. Appears harmless enough, but I've identified him as one of my key suspects. Ooh. He's a clever one, no doubt about it. Eyes in the back of his head. Always seems to know when I'm watching. But that's where you come in. You should wait outside his house and see what he does when he's not watching me. I'll meet you here tomorrow night. To get your report. Yeah, man, you can count on me. Don't let Tutius Sextius catch you following him. He's much more dangerous than he looks. Most people are, Glarthir. Most people are. He's a wise man. Hello. A little bird oh. told me that you've been asking around town about Glarthir, a resident eccentric. I'd like to know why. Nah. Uh, he's in on it. He wants to know what I've discovered. Uh, you know, I was just curious about him. Fine. Play it that way. Let me give you some friendly advice. Glarther is crazy. Maybe harmless crazy. Maybe not. Don't get involved with him. If he asks you to do anything strange, you come see me first. Got it? Or any of the town guard. Let us handle it. All right, dude. Don't worry. I mean, he's just making sure, you know, he's just trying, he's just trying to validate um, the information that he's suspicious of, you know? There's nothing, there's nothing, he's not planning anything nefarious, it's not like he's gonna ask me to kill all these people once I'm done, you know, looking into them. He's just trying to be safe. And once I've given him my intel, I'm sure that he'll just be like, Okay, well, I guess it's time, definitely time for me to move out. And then he'll leave. And then, you know, I'll avoid coming to Skingrad ever again, because it's, you know, a city entirely filled with spies. When is this guy coming out? Never. He's never coming out. Okay. Let's wait, let's wait. Still, he's still in there. Oh, oh! Where's he going? No, is he gonna leave the city? There's Glarthir. What are you doing? Honestly, you keep 
getting in the way of all of these people who are supposedly spying on you. What are you doing? Let, let me handle it. Oh my god, it is amateur hour up in here. Where the fuck did it go? Where the fuck did it go? Is he down there? Why is he down there? Is he, where, is, where, where is he? What the, he's on the move. Where is he? Is he up front? Where the fuck? I'm going mountain climbing. Okay. He's around this way? Y no? Where is he? I'm almost concerned for his safety now. Where, where the fuck? Um. Is he. is he invisible? I think I need to uh, fix this. The power of flight! Also, where the. Actual fuck is he? Is he? What? What? Okay. Um. Okay. He's a ghost. He, or, you know, a mage of some kind. Uh, I think this is worse than Glarthier's thinking. There's some pretty seriously powerful people against him. Wait a second. Is he in here now? Or is he over at the castle? He might be over at the castle. He is, he's over at the castle. Time to move. Time to move. Let's just let's just fast travel over there so we can catch up to him. I wonder what he's doing here at the castle. What nefarious things he's trying to do. I bet Janus Hasseldor is in on it. I bet oh, 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 I can, it's an it's all unfolding before me. It's all unfolding before me. So everybody in this city is playing up to the power structure that Janus Hasseldor has been creating for, you know, two hundred plus years as a vampire. Everybody is just his mind slave. Because he's a vampire and he can do that. It explains everything. Why everybody's so innocent. Maybe they think they're innocent. But then when they least suspect it outside of their own control, Jazz Hasseldor gets them to do things that are shady and suspicious and maybe downright murderous. Oh my god, I've uncovered it all. Let's uh, well met. <laughs> let's let's ask him what he thinks. Let's you know, chance some questions. You're new here. Or you'd know me. Tutius Sextius, my people have lived in Skingrad since the dawn. Father and the Count were best of friends. Where are they now? That just adds up the suspicions. Would you mind telling me about the lovely silly... silly the lovely city of Skingrad? Perhaps you should seek out a priest. Perhaps a beggar or guardsman. You and I, we have nothing in common. Excuse me? What could we possibly talk about? You think I'm like a commoner or something? A regular plebeian? I'm the hero of Gavach, motherfucker. Okay. Um, uh, Glarther. You know, that fine fellow. I'm sorry, but I don't think I know any Glarther. Oh, wait. Do you mean that strange wood elf that you see wandering around the city? Maybe. Yes, I've seen him, but never spoken to him. He seems to be at the low gate every morning when I pass by on my way to the castle. Hmm. Gives me the Funny that you've noticed that. You mention it. Almost like he hates me, although I have no idea why. See that glance to the side he just did? He's suspicious. <gasps> There's more I can ask about him. Yes, the strange wood elf who haunts the Loke Gate every morning. You said he was Glarther. Well, I'm afraid I know nothing else about the fellow. Hmm, indeed. Bye. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna be hanging out over here. I am also personal friends with the Count. And I am also gonna be his assassin once I figure out the entire plot that he's behind. Okay. 
but he's not here anymore. Are you trying to talk to me? You're walking towards me, okay. It's time to go. It's time to go see where Tootie Sexty is going. What nefarious things he's up to. Is he back in the city? He is back in the city, okay. I wonder what else he's getting up to. I don't know how much I could possibly discover today. But, uh, you know, it's worth a shot. Where the hell is this guy? Is he outside over here now? Is he, like, perusing the vineyards? I bet you the vineyards are, like, the center of activity here. That's where the other lady was. In fact, that's probably the common denominator. Everybody goes to the vineyard. I don't know what's happening here, but maybe I will discover it. Are you on a horse? He's on a horse! Where is he going? He's so slow, though, I'm not gonna find out. <laughs> He's still here! He's still riding a horse! He's in the same place! Let's see how far he gets this time! Suspicious. Very suspicious. It's almost like he's trying to make a run from the town. Very slowly. <gasps> he's heading back. He's probably just going back home. Hmm. I think now is the time. Hello, how long do we got? Yeah. Time to go see Glarthier. Man, Glorber is really onto something. Everybody's very suspicious in this town. And that's Glarthier's house. It is, it is very suspicious that, you know, he just so happens to be in the center of town and like, Everybody else's homes are all built around his. I wonder why that is. Ew. It's not a coincidence. I'll, let, I'll, I'll tell you. I hope I'm not too late. That would be annoying. If I was too late. Should still be. I think he waits until like 2 a.m. or something, though, so it should be fine. Hey! Tell me what you learned about Tutius Sextius. Dude, you were not gonna believe it. He is totally spying on you. So? I was right all along! You're doing excellent work, my friend. Thank you. Uh, the reward you promised? Here you go, my friend. Trust me, you've earned it. There is one last person that needs looking into, though. Okay, who else do you want me to look into? I mean, at this point, nobody's killed me yet, so I think I'm relatively safe in my espionage activities. Do you know David Sorley? Uh, not really. Yes, of the famous Sorley Vineyards. Oh. Pillar of the community, etc. Who would ever suspect him? You? Perfect cover for the ringleader of the whole conspiracy! <gasps> he watches my house constantly. You'll see. I'm sure I will. He leaves his house early each morning. Watch him and report back to me here. At midnight, as usual. Make sure he doesn't notice you. Dude, you can trust me. As you have seen so far, I am the Be soul careful. of caution. David Sorley is the ringleader. You must not let him catch you watching him. Of course, I kind of have a theory of my own that David Sorley is not the ringleader. It's actually Janice Asseldor. In which case, you might be over your head, buddo. I just want to skip town once this is all over. The guards are probably all watching me. Okay, so he's in there. Let's just let's just wait this out. Now see, I do notice a common denominator. It is definitely the vineyard, because the other two people, they went out to the vineyard. One of them was just to visit, one of them was to work there, and one of them owns the frickin' vineyards. So, you know. 
I'm, I'm not entirely sure what I'm on to, but I'm on to something. And I think if I was able to tell Clarker about it, he would definitely agree with me. Is he? Oh, ooh, he's probably he's probably he's probably in the vineyards now. What's up? What do you, what do you just do? Well but yeah, well met. He's probably planting a magical bug of some kind to record these things. Even as I speak, he's recording what I'm saying. Well met. Oh, that's the brother. Oh, he's probably on in and out too. Either that. He's innocent. He's just another one of the mind slaves. They're all mind slaves. That's what this is about. I need to tell Glorthier that all these people are just mind slaves to Janice Asseldor. They're all basically innocent. They don't know what they're doing. How are you? Uh huh. That's probably why, you know, all these people are just kind of going about their daily activities and don't seem to know anything about Glorthier. They probably think that they're being genuine, you know? They think they don't know anything. They think that they're just going about their daily activities, but really, there's something nefarious going on around here. Still working. Oh, oh, he moved. He's inside now. I do genuinely wonder what exactly the vineyards are a front for. <laughs> a front for. Because, you know, maybe there's, uh, maybe there's, like, bodies under there or something. Maybe this is all just a body farm. They're studying the rate of decomposition. That sounds relevant to Janice Hasseldor's interests? I don't know. He's a vampire. He's bound to be into necromancy or something. I can't believe I trusted him. All those comments I made about him being an upstanding member of society, it was all for naught. Because he isn't an upstanding member of society. He's the leader of a spy city. Okay. Is he just going to be in there for the rest of the day? He went out, did a couple hours of work, and now he's home. I wonder if I'll ever get the chance to question him. <gasps> Ooh, I think he's back outside the city. Let's go! Woo. That's him right there. Let's just keep waiting. He's still working. Oh, I might have the opportunity now to ask him some questions. That's how they recruit new members. Excuse me. Well met. Yes, well met. <laughs> so, uh, what do you know of this Glarthier fellow? You may have heard that he's a bit touched in the head, and that may be true. But he's always been a quiet neighbor, never given us any trouble. Is that so? Hmm. He doesn't have anything else to say. Bye. That's yes. kind of suspicious. Dare to you think? <laughs> well, it's midnight, so regardless of whether he's still here, which he is, I'm gonna go see Glarth here. I think I've discovered all I need to. Ooh, oh, I'm so tired. All of this espionage is really tiring me out. I can't wait to be done. He'll pay me, and then he'll probably skip town, like I suggested, and yeah, yeah, it'll be great. At some point, I'll probably get the chance to assassinate uh, Janus Hasseldor, and then all the members of the town will be free. Oh look, he has an axe. Did he have an axe before? It seems like he has an axe now. I'm sure it's fine. I'll just go wait for him in our usual spot. Oh man, he's gonna be so happy with me. Hey dude! You're not gonna believe it. So, what did you discover about the upstanding David Surly? He is absolutely spying on you. 
And so it all falls into place. Yes, yes, it all makes sense now. Here, this is your last task. Okay. Uh, the reward? Here's the gold, as promised. I always pay my debts and then some. Do the last task in that note, and I will pay you much, much more. Okay. Being a little bit weird. Um, hmm. I wonder what's in the note. Um, I have some quest markers, I notice. He's giving me a list of people he wants to kill. Uh... Have you... No. Yeah, in fact, I'm just gonna tell him. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna kill these people. They're innocent. They're just mind slaves. There's a way to save them. We just have to get Janice Asseldor. You won't help me? You're abandoning me now? Just when I need you the most? Yes. No. No. I understand. It is my problem, and I should solve it myself. Uh... You're right. I should never have involved you. Good night. Um... No, that's worse. Could be... The, the, uh, oh god. Oh man. Okay, now I need to involve the guards. He's about to go kill people. Guards? Guards? Oh man, Bernadette Penelis is just over here. He's probably gonna break into her house and kill her. Oh god. Oh jeez. Uh, hey. Uh-huh. Hey. We're here to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have something you want to tell? Me? Yep. He's he's uh, he needs to be arrested. Why? He's wanting to kill everybody. Damn. He's finally gone completely bonkers. Yep. Thanks for the tip. Now stand aside and let the guard do their work. Okay. All right. I'm gonna follow him. Just want to make sure the Glarther hasn't done anything yet somehow. He's like, I knew it all along. The guards. Get him. I fought mud crabs more fearsome than you. Whew. Well, that's the end of that. I hope I. So about that. Sad story. But at least we stopped him in time, thanks to you. Yep. I mean, it probably wouldn't have gotten that far if it wasn't for me, but, uh. Mm, yeah. Take his key. Take his lockpicks. And, uh, well, that was certainly something. Hmm. There is definitely something suspicious going on around here, but I don't know if I'm the person to deal with it. Oop, not, didn't not mean to take that. Time to loot Glarthir's house. Uh, orcs, mysticism. Lots of copies of mysticism. I wonder what's with that. Mm hmm. It was basement. Oh. I wonder what he's uncovered. I could I could use it in my future assassination plot. Uh hmm. David Cirilli. Oh, he has a whole bunch of notes on David Cirilli. Okay. Weird. And okay, so it's the Marukai selectives, the blades. And the Mythic Dawn. Interesting choices, but you know, I wish I could have told him about my plans. Uh huh. Oh. Oh, it's all about me. And she's guilty as I thought. Ooh, trustworthy and efficient. Yep, that's me. Uh huh. Found someone to help me. <sighs> oh, well. Hmm. This this has been this has been interesting. This has definitely been interesting. Well, I think my voice my voice is my throat is kinda sore. So uh I think that's gonna be it for me tonight. But I will see you next time as we rejoin Boogledorf as she once again does Thy Fighters Guild stuff.
Oh, poor Glarthir, you poor, poor bastard. So misdirected. Anyway, I hope you have a lovely day. Good night.